Well, here we are. We're in Thanksgiving week, and Pastor wanted to come to you just for a little bit and just express to you how thankful I am for all that God has done this year. As we look back over the year and we look at how God has moved, the Word of God tells us in Colossians chapter number 3 and verse number 15, He said for us to allow and let the peace of God rule our hearts because we of our calling into this one body. And then he said for us to be thankful. And today I just come to you with a thankful heart and a thankful spirit. I look back over the things that God has done this year and it has been amazing. We have seen growth in our church body like never before. We have seen miracles and healings like never before. There's people alive today, not only in our church body, but all over the world because of faith that has been spoken inside of this tabernacle and the way that the Spirit of God moves. I know that Thanksgiving for me and my family is a very special time, but it's also a special time for us concerning this church family that we have here at Milligan Assembly. It's an amazing family how that people walk through our doors and how that God speaks to them and God touches their life. And as you have heard pastors say many times, about 99% of everybody that walks through our doors here, they have their own story. They can sit and tell you of how God has moved in their lives and how God has touched them in times of great happiness and in times of great grief and loss. God has been faithful. And today, as senior pastor of this place, I want to say how thankful I am. I'm thankful to God for what He has done and the way that He has moved. There's nothing more precious to me than the moving of God's Spirit and how it touches our lives and how it encourages us from day to day. I have seen our elders walk into this place and couldn't hardly put one step ahead of another, but yet I've seen the Spirit of God move on them and just minister to them in amazing ways. And God has kept them alive and given them the power to survive. I know this year alone, new births, new babies born into this church body. I think over the past just five or six weeks, we've had five or six new births that have been born uh, recently and even many more before then. And not, not one, not one terrible birth has took place. They've all been healthy and God has blessed us with the, with the mystery and the wonderment of life. And we thank God for that. To our people that have found love, even yesterday in our service, once again, we had a gentleman propose to a lady and he wanted to be done in the witness of this congregation and he came up and he took a knee and he asked this wonderful lady to marry him and I'm so glad that she said yes but she said yes we've had that happen several times this year at several weddings and um, yes we have had several funerals homegoing services those are especially hard on pastor and it's hard on our congregation during this season of year and this time of year especially with Thanksgiving and Christmas our heart goes out to all of our people two of our pastors have went home to be with the Lord this year Pastor Redmond and Pastor Edis Miller they went home to be with the Lord and many more that we have been connected to that pastor has stand behind a casket somewhere and preached the home going service and I know that doesn't make this season of year um, 
any less stressful because there'll be a void there. There'll be an emptiness there. But we know the power and the presence of God will be with those people and touch them because we will be praying for them as a church family. So as a church family, let me say if, if you know of someone that has had a death, make that part of, of your celebration this year with Thanksgiving and Christmas. Maybe call them up and invite them over to dinner or just let them know you're thinking about them. Send them a card that will mean the world to them. I want to thank God today for all the people that have been born again this past year in this congregation. People that came down to an altar of repentance and gave their heart and life to God and rebirth took place in their souls. I want to thank God for the baptisms and the Holy Spirit that we have witnessed. I want to thank the Lord for the way that he has supernaturally moved. This pastor has already mentioned that. I'm thankful to God for that. Um, the, the peace of God has covered my heart as I look into the future. There's things and visions and dreams that I, that I have that God has placed in me that I know it's going to take a miracle from God to supply what we need to fulfill those visions and those dreams, but I believe God's gonna supply it. I believe God's gonna give us what he needs to fulfill the work that he's called us to do. I don't think we have a lot of time left. I believe we're living on the verge of the rapture of the church. And if you've come here more than once, you've heard me say that, because that word rapture is mentioned about every service. But pastor just wanted to come to you just maybe for a private time one-on-one -on -one, a few moments today and tell you that if if you go to this church to the Milligan Assembly if you've given of your tithing and your offerings if you are given of your time and your labor maybe you work in a particular ministry or maybe you just come and you become a new member this year and you're finding your place in the body or maybe you're just one of those that walks in our sanctuary every week and you're faithful and you worship God and you are a conduit of the Spirit of God and it just comes and touches you and you express that in jubilant worship and the presence of God touches your life and you're not ashamed to show it. I want to say thank you for that. You guys just make preaching easy in this house. You make worship easy in this house because you're so ready to receive. And we thank you for that. We thank you for all that you have done. And we're so thankful to God that he has given us this past year together. Um, if the Lord does not come back soon, I know that we'll, we'll still face pain and we'll face heartache, but we know a God of all comfort and all peace that he will come and because of us joining ourselves to this body we can say we're so thankful for everything that he does for us so i guess pastor's message today is just to simply tell you thank you thank you um, for all that you have done all that you have given and i want to thank god for everything that he has done we have a brand new family life center sitting out there that just about every day during the week something's going on and it's a great vehicle. Oh, I, I'm still believing things for God to yet be thankful for. I'm expecting any moment for us to not have room enough to seat all the people that comes. I'm expecting any moment that death ears will be unstopped. I believe blinded eyes will be seeing. I believe heart disease will be healed. And I believe a personal enemy, a pastor, cancer, 
I believe it will be defeated. Ever since the age of two and a half years old that cancer took my mother, I've had a perfect hatred for that disease. And I battle against it every day because I want it to be removed from everybody's life that comes up to me and says, Pastor, I have cancer or cancer's in my family. I want to see that gone. And I want, I want, I want to see it just disappear by the power of God. And we have seen that happen several times. It's happening today as I sit in front of this camera and telling you that God's moving. But anyway, I won't prolong this anymore, but I just want to say thank you today for all that you've done. And from my family to yours, I just pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving season and that the peace of God will rule your heart and that you will be thankful for all that God has done for you. God bless you. We love you. And remember, until all are reached, nothing is too hard for God.